time, I did some filming, but I realized once I got here, I forgot some equipment, so the video quality did not turn out well at all. The neat thing is, it gives me another opportunity to come out and try again, and see if we can't do a little bit better this time. So, I remembered my phone, that was the biggest thing. And I've got my ND filter, so now maybe I can get some correct exposure, so that would be great. The only downside, I think it's a little colder. It's definitely windier. I've got the drone. I thought about sending it up through this bridge. Um, getting some stuff there, we'll have to see how brave I get, because it is a little bit windy, so. Let's keep going, see what we can find. We're at is called Celebration Park. It's near Melba, Idaho. I don't really know anything about it. And so I obviously need to do a little bit of research, but it's kind of a great little place. to see there's a trail that goes all the way up that plateau there's people climbing up there right now and I'm sure the overlook from up there is really good I'm not sure I'm feeling that right now today though I don't know think would be great to get some photos of plan that out a little bit better and grab some photos of I'm tempted to fly the drone over there and see what I can do with it the only downside is that it is private property so it begs the question of if uh, if the drone malfunctions and goes down, then uh, I don't know what I would do. <laughs> I think for today, I'm gonna play it safe though. Why are there so many bugs? I don't know what they are. Some kind of a gnat or something? over the place. journey to climb up that plateau. There's a few people almost all the way up to the top of it. But today is not that day for me. So this is a pretty interesting pile of rocks. I wonder if they were placed here by people? I'm guessing probably. Or if they came off the plateau up there and rolled down.
so there's a person that I'm overhearing their conversation a little bit. And they're talking about how for them, it's not much of a hike. And I'm just down here thinking to myself, girl, you're still out of shape. There's no way I could do that. There's a reason I'm not even trying. <laughs> I totally forgot to check if anybody was behind me. It's interesting how you get rolling with vlogging and you kind of just forget that most of the time you're the only person out there talking to a camera by yourself. <laughs> of the river is a visitor center, some interpretive trails with signs and things. I think there's some prehistoric markers, boat launch, picnic tables, I believe possibly even some camping. That's probably challenging to see but there's people walking across the top of the rim of the plateau up there. Sun is setting. And it's getting chilly, so we're heading back. It looks like there's a little bit of a cave there. There's a bunch of people that have hiked all the way around, all the way up and around the plateau, and have come back down into where that little cave area is. Hmm. <laughs> 